guys, Deanna Zaring with Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're at Paramount Studios for the final Draft Awards. Hello! Hello. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to meet you. It's such an honor. I spoke to your lovely presenter earlier. And she oh, had. She is my heart. She's my mentor. Well, that's what she she's said. And hermana. Like she's my sister, and um, we work together in the trenches, and like we bonded there. And uh, we Marco Polo each other every day. Uh, so we like. She we have a face mask on. <laughs> I'll have like I, and we'll talk about show running, but also being Latinas right now. So like talk about being about, like about real life. She is my rock. So the fact that she came here Random from the west side oh. <laughs> hey that's a no, that's tough. real love it's tough. right uh, i yeah. mean that she loves me if she did, made that track i would make that and more you know of a track for her so we were talking a little bit about female representation in hollywood how important is that to you i mean your career is so incredible but you hope to have more females out there how how what do we need to do so i so i'm i come from the theater in okay. chicago and um i started when, when I was 22, an all Latina, all female Latina theater company. So this is what I've been doing with my work, you know, Latina gay stuff. And the fact that I'm getting to do it here in TV, on TV, you know, it's like, it's amazing that they're letting me and they're giving me money for it. Uh, but it, but also, it, um, it denotes that there it's time, you know, for that gaze, for that perspective, for that point of view. Um, my writer's room is mostly female. There's only one cis male. All my directors this season are Latinas. I think that's the first time that's happened. All my department heads are female. So my all my DPs are female. All my editors are, you know, female. So, yeah, well, it's time. And you can tell with my show that females made it, you know? Um, you can just tell. Yeah. You know, uh, so, there, there's a, a the care plan. that yeah, we have with, grand and grand a lack of care too, that we should, like sometimes we think of women are precious with their story. They're not, like we want to be flawed. Look at the stuff that's out there that is like um, uh, uh, killing Eve and things like that. It's like, we want to see our flawed selves. I mean, we're not serial killers, all of us, but like, but like uh, uh, my two protagonists, like they are flawed jerks. You but they're great. real, you know, and we haven't gotten a chance to t to have like depictions like that on TV, so it's it's so important. And I hope there's more right now. I'm working on a, I'm gonna start a mini writers room for uh, my, my next thing, Brujas. So hopefully that will. Yes, exciting. Do you have a moment that you sort of sat down and went, I have to pinch myself? Like, do you have a pinch me moment? Or a few? I mean, I was just telling something that I haven't stopped since we did the pilot presentation in 2017. We went to first season and we were editing and starting the writers room for second season. So I haven't stopped. So I haven't. I haven't had that 2020 meditative like. Oh wow, that happened. So no. Well, I'm but looking forward I to when you have it. Oh, sorry. Me too. I want to like be on a beach somewhere or something like that and be like. Holy cow, that happened. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the next season, I'm sure you can't tell us much, but can you tell us anything? I'm just so excited for you to meet the new characters. Okay. There are some new characters that are just so dreamy. I, I feel like I kind of <laughs> cooked my perfect girl in a lab, okay. aka the writer's room. Okay. I'm excited for you to meet her. Yeah. Um, and then also one of my oldest friends since I was 14 years old, who was in Looking, uh, I worked on a show called Looking, he was in it, Raul Castillo. He gets to join the cast too. So like it's, it, it keeps, the family keeps growing, but it keeps, it, it's um, really exciting. I mean, that that's just cast, but like in the story, first season was like a three hour, um, pilot okay. in a way uh -huh. and now the story really gets going you know what I mean uh, any advice female not whatever for writers out there what's your biggest advice what is like the thing when you're having writers block and you've got to push through what would you say to keep writing and I know that's the advice that we get all the time but because we edit before we even we, we start editing even before we write the first word that is the most toxic thing to do no just write 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 do not edit as you go that's the word do not judge as you go just write because your story is worth it you know and so just put it out it, it should be bad at first you know <laughs> it should be that's part of the process but like spit it out without you getting in the way that's the most important thing because we can be our own worst enemies you know? i love that i love that well congratulations thank you so much it's such an honor to meet you have a great time tonight fiona congratulations nice to meet you thanks for watching be sure to subscribe like this video and let us know in the comments below what was your favorite movie this year